The economic world that we now live in is very difficult, but the bank's contribution is therefore more important than ever. Right here in Istanbul, I saw how we had improved the journeys to work of commuters through the privatization of IDO ferries. Turkey is now our second biggest country of operations. Last year, we invested over a billion euros here. Success here proves that the bank is capable of adapting its model from the traditional post-communist nations, which it helped for more than two decades and still does, also to building up our operations in a new place from a standing start less than five years ago. This augurs well for our eventual success in the countries of our new southern and eastern Mediterranean region, Egypt, Tunisia, Jordan, and Morocco. My dear friends, this annual meeting of EBRD takes place at a time when we are continuously facing uh, challenges in the world economy. Despite all measures that have been taken, vulnerability of the global economy continues to be the case, and we are still unable to achieve the growth levels we desire. The financial crises that uh, we have been experiencing once again show us how important sound macroeconomic policies are and uh, structural reforms are with respect to uh, stability and growth. In this difficult and challenging time that the world is going through, Turkey is a success story. The active and uh, leading role that the EBRD has taken upon itself with respect to supporting the process of change and transition in the Middle East and North Africa is well appreciated. This morning, we held a high-level meeting with the participation of the heads of government present and president of the EBRD, where we discussed uh, business and investment opportunities in southern and eastern Mediterranean countries. In our meetings, we uh, listen to the policy priorities of governments. This meeting was very important in terms of showing us how the EBRD can, uh, in a better way, support the uh, reforms of these governments.